First of all, let me thank you for contacting me about copyright in the digital single market. It's great to know that so many of you are taking an interest in European lawmaking, even when it is a bit technical. I must start by reassuring you that I, together with the Green Group, will be voting to protect the freedom of the internet tomorrow. About half the emails were mostly concerned about that, but we also received thousands of emails from some of you about the need for a properly regulated internet and the protection of artists and authors. It's clear that there is a battle between two types of corporations here. On the one hand, we have the platforms like publishers that are seeking to profit from the work of small artists and creatives. And on the other hand, we've got the online giants like Google who profit from sharing online content without paying for it. Our aim as Greens is to make sure that creative people are rewarded for their work, but without allowing, allowing corporations to control the internet. There are two articles of particular concern. Article 11, which would force anyone who wishes to use parts of journalistic content for link sharing to first get a license from the publisher. And Article 13, which relates to filtering and monitoring of uploaded content online. Last week, the European Parliament's Legal Affairs Committee supported Article 11 and Article 13, but Greens are leading the fight against those articles and we've been building up support to carry on this debate and ensure that the whole Parliament has a vote. We voted against these articles at committee level because we believe that they would seriously undermine basic internet freedoms. But it's also clear that we need to have some control over the internet. In particular, we need to protect people who provide online creative content. We also need to challenge the internet when it's being used as a tool for generating and sharing disinformation. This can become ultimately a threat to our democracy. However, the directive as proposed, particularly articles 11 and 13, is quite disproportionate. In its present form, it would put freedom of information and freedom of expression at risk and would needlessly limit access to online information by discouraging the use of hyperlinks. We don't yet have a successful model for dealing with copyright issues in our internet age. Until we do, we should keep the freedom of the internet and strive for adequate rules on copyright.